Hallelujah. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Praise you, the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Awesome and wonderful God that we have, that we serve. We just thank him and praise him. We love him. We give him glory and honor this morning. We esteem him high. Yes, thank you, Lord God, today for all that you've done and all that you continue to do. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Father. Yes, we praise you. We love you. We lift you up this morning. Hallelujah. He is an awesome God and a wonderful God. He is a mighty and a holy God, and we just thank him and praise him. We love our God. We lift our God up today. Yes, mighty God, holy God, wonderful God, loving God, kind God, just God. Yes, there is no God like the God we serve. So forgiving, so awesome this morning. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Juanita Hudson, good morning to you. Praise you, the Lord. Praise you, the Lord. Pastor Sabrina, good morning to you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Selena Williams, good morning. Cousin Tanny, good morning. Hallelujah. Mary Stacy, good morning. Hallelujah. Lavinia Ray Rowe, good morning. Janice Moultrie, good morning. Sandra God favor me sample, good morning. Thanking the Lord for everybody that's here this morning. Hallelujah. We are blessed beyond measure. And we thank our holy and magnificent God this morning. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Hallelujah, for we love you this morning, Lord God. Yes, hallelujah. Walter Collins, Sylvia Odom, Deacon Harvey, Janice Gerald, good morning, everybody. Praise the Lord this morning. Give God a hand clap of praise this morning, wherever you are this morning. Yes. I'm just so happy to be here this morning, thanking the Lord for another opportunity to come and pray with you today. Hallelujah. Yes, just thanking God that we're still here another day to do his will and his good pleasure on this earth. Hallelujah. Psalm 23 this morning. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He making me to lie down in green pastures. He leading me beside the still waters. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He restored my soul. He leading me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Hallelujah, yes, yes. Thou prepares the table before me in the presence of mine enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Hallelujah, thank you, Lord. <clears throat> thank you, he is our dwelling place. Everything we need is in him today. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Psalm 24, Psalm 24. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Thank God we all belong to him. For he has founded it upon the seas and established it upon the floods. Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity nor sworn deceitfully. He shall receive the blessing from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord mighty, strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle. Lift up your heads, O ye gates, and be ye lift up, ye everlasting doors, and the King of glory shall come in. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts, Jehovah Shaboah. He is the King of glory. He is Malek Hakavad, and we just thank him and praise him. We just love him this morning. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. He is a strong tower. He is a shield. He's a very present help in time of trouble. And we just thank our God and praise him. Hallelujah. Yes, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes. Psalm 34 this morning. Psalm 34. Hallelujah. Yes. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. 
My soul shall make her boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. O oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto him and were ready and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivered them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trusted in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. The young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord should not lack any good thing. Come, ye children, listen unto me. I will teach you to fear the Lord. What man is he that desired life and loveth many days that he may see good? Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. The righteous cry, and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their trouble. The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart, and saveth such as be of a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Hallelujah. But the Lord delivered them out of them all. Can I just read that verse? 19 one more time. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them out of them all. He keepeth all his bones, not one of them is broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be moved. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Last song, Psalm 100 today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endureth to all generations. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we praise you. We come before your throne of grace as boldly as we know how today. Father, we thank you this morning for waking us up this morning, before the rising of the sun, before the break of day. Lord, we thank you this morning for keeping us and watching over us. Thank you for the love that you have that's in us, the love that you give us. Father God, we thank you this morning, yes, that you are a gracious and a loving God. You are a majestic God, a sovereign God. You are alone, a God. We hollow out your name this morning. We thank you this morning, Elohim, our creator. We love you this morning, Adonai, sovereign and majestic God. We appreciate you, El Elyon, the most high God. Hallelujah. Yes, you are El Shaddai, the many-breasted one, the source of all of our blessings, God of the mountains. Lord, we call you Jehovah Jireh, our provider. You are Jehovah Meshkadishkin, the one that cleanses us and sets us apart. Jehovah Nisi, our victory, our banner, because the battle is not ours, but it's yours, Lord. Father, you are, hallelujah, Jehovah Nisi, I mean, Jehovah Rophi, our healer this morning. You heal all of our diseases, all of our discomforts. We thank you this morning. Yes, we praise you, Jehovah Shammah, our companion. You're always there. Hallelujah, Jehovah Rohi, our shepherd this morning. Jehovah Shabbat, the Lord of heaven, host of armies of angels, Jehovah Tashikinu, the God of our righteousness, and we are right standing because of, of your dear son, Jesus, Yeshua, the Messiah, our Savior. Thank you this morning for Jesus and what he done for us. Thank you this morning, Father, that Jesus did not leave us comfortless. We are not alone this Monday morning, all day Monday. We are never alone. Father, your presence is always with us. Your presence is there when we get there. Your presence is there while we're there. Your presence is there when we leave. God, there's nowhere we can go where we can escape your presence. Father, we thank you that you are an advocate, a counselor, a comforter, a strengthener, a helper, an intercessor. Thank you for your Holy Ghost this Monday that's in us and upon us this day to give us power, might, and ability. And we just thank you and praise you, Lord. In Jesus' name, give God praise. Hallelujah. Good morning, everybody.
Praise the Lord. Thank God for you today. Thank you for joining me in prayer. Thank you this morning. Hallelujah for letting other people know, hey, we still here. Hallelujah. Yes, we still here. And God is still doing miracles. He's still doing great things. I don't care what it looks like. Our God is still God. Our God is still good. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you something. He loves you. And I'm going to say this to you this Monday morning. In case you haven't heard it, I love you. Hallelujah. And I want you to have a God-filled day, an abundantly blessed God-filled day, a day full of joy, a day full of encouragement. Don't let nothing steal your joy today. Say this after me. Say nothing, no thing, or no one will steal my joy. I will encourage myself in the Lord. Give God praise. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Listen, I want you to know that. Don't let nothing or no one, no thing steal your joy today. Don't let nothing stop you from having, letting the joy of the Lord be your strength and letting the Lord be the strength of your life today. Okay, what happens, who called, whatever. Hallelujah. Somebody may say, hey, so this happened to so-and-so. Let us pray. Let us pray. Before you get into all, any details, let us pray right now. Hallelujah. All right, y'all, we're going to start this Monday morning off. Uh, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I got to pray for you all. Then, then we're going to do a confession. I'm ready to do a confession already. Let me pray for you this morning. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you on the behalf of these beautiful saints this morning, your sons and your daughters. I declare your kingdom come, your will be done in their life today as the plan and the will of God is in heaven that you increase as we all decrease. Have your way with us this morning, Lord. Father, thank you for giving us the ability to go through tests, trials, and tribulations. But God, we thank you this morning that we look to the hills from which cometh our help today. All of our help comes from you, Lord. Father God, I thank you and praise you. Hallelujah, that no weapon formed against my brothers or my sisters, our sons and our daughters, the seed of the righteous that is delivered. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against us, we shall condemn. This is our inheritance as your servants, for our righteousness is of you, Lord. Father, I thank you that we have healing today. Hallelujah, we have joy and strength today. Your love is manifesting in our lives today. Father, I will thank you for your grace that while we're yet weak, you're yet strong, God. Father, I thank you right now that you will never leave us nor forsake us. Father God, I thank you that you turned the opportunity into opportunities. Father, that we're walking through open doors, open doors of healing, open doors of joy, open doors of financial increase, open doors of blessing. Father, I thank you and you closed the door on our path that what's behind us is behind us and we're looking unto you, Father, the author and finisher of our faith. Lord God, I thank you that the, the work that you began to do in us, you will see it through and we won't be afraid. Hallelujah. To trust you, Lord. To lean on you, Lord. To depend on you, Lord. Because you are faithful and just. Hallelujah. You cannot fail. You will not fail. You have never failed and you won't fail us now. Father God, I thank you this morning that every situation that seems negative, God, you're showing us the blessing in the midst of. Lord, I thank you and praise you this morning that my brothers and sisters that we are in strong in you of a good courage of a good cheer that father we thank you this morning that the devil is a liar and he's under our feet father we thank you this morning that our families are saved and serving in the kingdom of God, doing the will of God. Father, we thank you for touching our family members. Hallelujah. Near and far, those in our house, those outside the house, those at work, those on their way to work, those on their way home from work, those who may be in jails and prison, in the hospital. We thank you for your spirit moving in them and upon them today. Lord God, we thank you for touching the children that are in the schools, God, and being with them today, that their mind is alert. Their heart is receiving and if anyone is trying to get them to do anything, God, that goes against the rules, God, that you touch them right now. You open their eyes, God. Reveal the plan, God. And we thank you and praise you now. In Jesus' name, let us praise our awesome God. Hallelujah. 
You know, I'm like Jesus. When Jesus was in the garden of Gethsemane, he asked his father, he said, take this cup away from me. But not my will, but thy will be done. Saints, sometimes we don't want to go through what we see in the cup. But nevertheless, not our will. Let his will be done. Hallelujah. We ask God to let our, his will be done, not our will. Hallelujah. Some of us, our will was not to get out of that bed this morning. But the Holy Spirit said, no, let's go to prayer. You can lay in the bed for a little bit, but let's go to prayer. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So just let God's will be done in your life and continue to pray his will to be done in your children, in your children's lives, your family life. Hallelujah. Because guess what? Some of our families are in darkness, y'all, and they need to see some light. And I'm not talking about the light from the light switch or the sunlight. I'm talking about the sunlight, the S-O-N-L-I-G-H-T. They need to see Jesus in us. They need to see that light to help them come out of that darkness. Hallelujah. So this is why we have to encourage ourselves in the light. Hallelujah. Praise and praise and praise. Well, come on, y'all. Let's get into a confession this morning. Hallelujah. I don't need you to just hallelujah, put your shouting shoes on or whatever. Come on, let's, let's go. Say, Father, I thank you for your grace, undeserved, unerring, unmerited, favor, your supernatural, power, ability, and authority that surrounds my life as a shield. I thank you, Father. Today, the favor of God is working for me when I'm asleep, when I'm awake, when I get up, when I lay down, when I go out, when I come in. The favor of God is working for me in my home, on my job, with my businesses, in the grocery store, in the mall. I declare God's favor is all around me. I thank you, Father, that I have favor, good success, and a good understanding in the sight of God and man. My God has raised up and is raising up people to use their favor, power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, inheritance, intelligence, strength, money, discernment, revelation knowledge, and wisdom to help me, to bless me, to do good to me. I declare my God has raised me up to use my favor, power, resources, might, ability, assets, authority, influence, inheritance, intelligence, strength, money, discernment, revelation knowledge, and, and wisdom to help someone, to bless someone, to do good to someone. The favor of God is causing rules, laws, regulations, and ordinances to be changed, created, modified, to help me, to bless me, to do good to me. I am Abraham C. And the blessings and favor of Abraham are on my life. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Say it again. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Let's say it one more time. Favor is attracted to me, looking for me, working for me, running me down, and overtaking me. Every time I turn around, God's favor is blessing me. Now, I need everybody to be on the same accord unless you drive. Come on. 
I need y'all to get out the bed. Let's turn around one time in, in, in unison. Hallelujah. And let's change this thing that the favor is moving all over this world on God's people on us today in the name of Jesus. So do this after me. Come on, say this after me. Say every time I turn around, God's favor is blessing me. Turn around one time. And for somebody who can't, I got you this morning. Let's reach up. Let's touch the hem of his garment. Let's pull down this favor from the north, south, east, and west. Say this after me. Say, Father, I touch the hem of your garment. And I pull down favor from the north, south, east, and west. In Jesus' name, pull it down this morning. God's favor is surrounding us this morning. I'm declaring God's favor all over your life. Hallelujah. Don't worry about what it looked like. Hallelujah. Just know that favor is working for you. Just know that God's favor is working for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, and praising him for that favor this morning, that that favor is in camp all around us. Hallelujah. Yes. I just thank him and praise him this morning that he has given us favor that's covering us, that's all over us. Hallelujah. Listen, don't work, don't apologize for it. Hallelujah. Because, you know, you ever heard somebody say this? Why are they always doing stuff for you? Now you know why. Because the favor of God was on your life. And God caused them to favor you. And there's nothing you can do about it. Don't be mad about it. But just know this right here. Here it is. This is my verse this morning. Hallelujah. This, this, this is a verse I want to read to you from Psalm uh, 1611. Hallelujah. Look at what it says. Thou, talking about God, will show me the path of life. In thy presence is fullness of joy. At thy right hand are pleasures forevermore. So if the favor of God is on you, and God has given you a goodly life. God is calling you to have fullness of joy. Hallelujah. And God's pleasure is all around you. Don't you apologize for the favor. Don't you apologize for your blessing, you child of God. Don't apologize because God is showing you due season after due season after due season. Hallelujah. Listen, you may have a farm. And on your farm... You may have some tomatoes. You may have some watermelons. Or you may have a one field that, that, that may have, I don't know, corn on it. But all of those vegetables, all of those, uh, everything that you planted in, in your fields, their due season may be at different times. One month, maybe the tomatoes come up. The next month, you may have okra springing up. Two months later, you may have a field full of watermelon. Don't be, don't you apologize for your due seasons. Don't apologize when God is favoring you and blessing you. Don't apologize. What you do is you just acknowledge God. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you right now, favor is fair. If I am doing what thus says the Lord and the Lord is blessing me and blessing my seed, blessing my household, blessing those around me, blessing the church. Well, baby, we're not going to apologize for the favor of God that's on us, that's all around us. His favor surrounds us as a shield. And I don't care who don't like it. I don't care who is mad about it. Because why? It's not me. It's him. Hallelujah. And God's favor surrounds us, hallelujah, surrounds us as a shield, hallelujah. And we just thank him and praise him, <clears throat> hallelujah, yes. So understand that somebody say, I received my favor. I won't apologize for it. I won't feel bad about it because my God, has favored me. 
Let me read this other verse about favor this morning. Look at what it says in Psalms. Um, hallelujah. I'm going to read verse um, 11 and 12 from Psalm 5. Psalm 5, verse 11 and 12. See, somebody need to, need, need to get this in their spirit today. Somebody need to get that God has favored you. Hallelujah. Don't apologize for your blessing. Don't apologize for your favor. Don't apologize for your hard work. Hallelujah. Don't apologize for it because God made it possible. Psalm 511 said, but let all those that put their trust in thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy because thou defendest them. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. Listen to verse 12. For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. If you are the righteous and you are blessed, let's say amen. It said, with favor wilt thou compass him as a shield. Oh, hallelujah. Let me read the last part of verse 12 again. It said, with favor wilt thou compass him as with the shield. That means favor is all around you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, with favor will thou compass him as a shield. So don't apologize for your favor. Don't apologize for your goodness. Don't apologize when God calls you to bless somebody else. And hallelujah. Don't apologize for it. Because you do what? <clears throat> what it says in the end of verse 11. Let them also that love thy name be joyful in thee. You love the Lord. You love his name. You're praising him. You're serving him. Hallelujah. You dedicated your whole being, your life to him. And now he has come. He has come past you, surrounded you with his favor. Hallelujah. What we say, favor is attracted to me, looking for me working for me, running me down and overtaking me. Every time I turn around, God's favor is blessing me. Don't apologize for your favor. I don't apologize for the good things God is doing in my life and my wife and my children. Hallelujah, our church family. I, I'm not going to make no apologies for the favor and the anointing, the blessings of God that's upon our lives. I'm not going to you know, diminish if God want to use somebody to bless me. Hallelujah. Why? Because I don't know what God is trying to do in their life. So if God want to bless me, I will let them bless me. Y'all know we used to sing this song um, by, by, by Bishop Paul S. Morton. Say, well, Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, don't do it without me. Lord, if you're blessing, don't do it without me. If you're healing, don't do it without me. Well, Lord, if you're showing favor, don't do it without me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm thanking him and praising him for this favor. Somebody need to get this in their spirit. Somebody need to understand. Somebody need to realize that you don't have to feel bad because God has blessed you. You don't have to feel bad because God chose you. Hallelujah. Don't feel bad because God made you to be a blessing to others and you got some people around you who mad. They're not mad at you. They're mad at the fact that that they're not doing what you're doing, even though y'all say y'all serving the same God, even though y'all both are going to church. But however, outside of church, hallelujah, are y'all doing the same thing? So don't apologize for the favor of God that's on your life. Don't apologize for the manifold blessing that's upon your seed. Don't apologize for the goodness of the Lord that in your life, that's in your life. You rejoice and be glad in it because guess what? We all got the same opportunity in God. He is the one that sets one up and brings another down. So this morning, I want you to understand that God's goodness is on your life. And don't you let no one or nothing, no thing stop you from enjoying the favor of God. Hallelujah. Go where you go. Do what you do. Be who you are in the Lord and rejoice. Hallelujah. Say, Father, I receive your favor that surrounds my life 
as a shield. I thank you for my favor from the north, south, east, and west. I won't apologize. I won't feel bad because your favor is blessing me in Jesus' name. Give God praise. Hallelujah. So when somebody do something for you today, just say thank you, Lord. That's all. Just say thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And then listen. This is what I want you to do. If you know somebody who has a problem with every time a blessing come your way, I want you to ask God to favor them, to bless them too. To show them the goodness of himself so that they'll understand why I rejoice, why I keep getting favor. So they'll understand I am a distribution center. The Lord bless me. I favor somebody else and he keeps blessing me. Hallelujah. Father, I declare over your sons and your daughters that their enemies are at peace with them. I declare, oh, Heavenly Father, that you continue to use them to do your will and your good pleasure. Continue to strengthen them. Father, continue to let them shout for joy and say, let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Father, and as we delight ourselves in you and your law and we meditate on your word, thank you for giving us the desires of our heart. Thank you, Father, for just blessing us and keeping us. And Father, we praise you now. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. My brothers and sisters, I want to thank y'all for joining me. That's it for today, just favor. And receive your favor. I'm going to tell you just, just I'm going to give you a quick brief example. Last night I asked my wife, she was sitting in bed. I said, hey, you want me to rub your feet when I get out the shower? She said, sure. There was no other words exchanged. She received the blessing. Amen. You have to learn to receive when God is blessing you. Don't say that's all right. You know you need it. Somebody offer you, you know, they going out to get something to eat at work and you know you're hungry. They say, hey, you want lunch today? I got you. Nah, I brought a little something. something. Listen, they going to one of your favorite places. Don't block their blessing and don't let them block, block them from blessing you. Go on and order what you know you want. You really don't want what you brought from home? No way. Let's just be straight and be honest. Hallelujah. But I want to thank y'all for joining me this morning. I want to encourage you to have a wonderful day. Hallelujah. Do me a favor. When the Lord bless you today, just, just hit us up. You know, send me an email or, or text message. Say, Pastor, let me tell you, the Lord bless me today. Hallelujah. Let me be a witness of your testimony. Hallelujah. Praise you the Lord. Praise you the Lord. Or post it back, back on this page today to let us know how God has blessed you today. So with that being said, on the behalf of myself, James Tiger Wilkinson, the senior pastor of Uplift Church 429, my beautiful wife, my queen back there, Pastor Sabrina, our family, Team Wilkinson, and the most beautiful is wonderful is best is blessed is Holy Ghost filled, hallelujah, devil stumping, fire baptized, amazing, anointed, hallelujah, committed, skillful lawyer, able, prompt to do on fire, body of believers on this side of heaven, our Uplift Church 429 family, and you, our Uplift Church 429 Facebook live family, God bless you, I love you, see you in the morning, bring somebody with you, peace. Have a wonderful day, everybody, and enjoy the favor of the Lord today. Hallelujah. I'm walking.